Hi and welcome back. In the last video we went ahead and saw how we could set up some content on our page. In this video I want to talk about preview and browser feature. This is going to be a relatively short video but it's going to be a very important video. It's important because um, as you're developing your web page it's very very necessary not to rely on Dreamweaver's design view to determine what your page pages are going to look like because oftentimes dream or I'm sorry expression web's design view is going to deceive you as far as what things are going to look like and you'll really see that when we get into the project um, videos so it's very important to come to the file menu and select preview and browser and select different browsers to look at your web page in now the one of the biggest headaches inside of web design is the fact that different browsers will display your page sometimes slightly differently. So in other words, Internet Explorer may display a page and, and when you look at it in Firefox it may look a little bit different. So not only do you need to be able to preview your website in a browser, you also need to preview your website in multiple browsers to make sure that it's working um, okay. And there are really four standard browsers that people test their web pages in. One is Internet Explorer. And the second is Firefox. The third is Google Chrome. And the fourth is Apple Safari. And some people add a fifth browser on, and that would be the Opera web browser. Opera is a lot less um, used than um, the other browsers that I mentioned there, but you may want to download it and try it out and add it to um, Expression Web. But at a minimum, you need to be able to test your browser in three different browsers. You need to be able to test it in Internet Explorer, you need to be able to test your pages in Firefox, and you need to test your pages in either Google Chrome or Apple Safari. Preferably both, but generally um, Safari and Chrome are going to display your pages the same. Now, when you installed Expression Web, it probably picked up whatever browsers you currently had installed. And in my case, you can see I've got Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox here. You probably remember before I had Apple Safari. I actually removed it so that we could add it again. So let's say we wanted to add a browser to this list. I just come down here to the bottom where it says Edit Browser List and then click on Add. You're going to go ahead and name this. I'm going to call it Apple Safari. And then click Browse and you need to go find the program that that is that browser. So you would go find Chrome. You would go find Safari. And in my case, I'm going to go ahead and um, come here to my computer. I'm going to go into my local disk and I'm going to come in here to my program files folder. If you're on Windows 7, you may have two program files folders. Try x86 first, but if you don't find it in there, it's probably just in program files. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'll find a Safari folder. And there's Safari. And I'll click on Open and OK. And you'll now see that Apple Safari has been added to that list. You'll see the box is not checked there. So when I click OK, it probably will not appear here. But if I come back here and check that box, and click OK, you'll now see Apple Safari is going to be listed there. And now when I click that, it's going to go ahead and ask me if I want to save this page. I'm going to click OK there. And there is my page in Apple Safari. So make sure that you test your web pages in multiple browsers and um, uh, make sure that they're looking the same. And generally speaking, Internet Explorer is going to be the one that really um, is going to sometimes display your pages differently. Um, so that may be the one that presents the most 
problems for you. But learning to create web standard HTML and CSS as we're going to do in this video is going to really minimize a lot of those um, issues for you. So that's the preview and browser function. In the next video we're going to go ahead and begin our uh, project website for this um, series, the uh, Fullerton template. And again, if you want to download the framework and the completed project to work along with it, simply go to my website. There's a link to it in the description for this video, and you can download those uh, materials. I'll see you in the next video.